everybody, we are back with another review. Today, we are checking out a, I guess, first series of WWE Pops that uh, I actually have in my collection because I don't have many, but uh, we're going to be checking this one out today. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review because today we're checking out Hulk Hogan Python Power Walmart exclusive. This is an awesome pop. Uh, I don't collect a lot of the wrestling pops because there, there is a lot of them, and uh, I actually haven't been following a lot of the most recent uh, evolutions of wrestling, but when I did back in the 90s uh, and in the 80s, late 80s, but um, Hulk Hogan was definitely a character, you can, you can call him a character at this point, that I used to follow, uh, which is pretty cool. And this is him from the, the set that they put together. It was Andre the Giant and the Hulk Hogan. They both dropped at Walmart, which is pretty cool. We've already reviewed Andre the Giant on the channel, but we're going to check out Hulk Hogan here. Looks like I already popped that side we're just going to slide it right out so we got number 47,179 wwe hulk hogan pop c1 that's c1 again now this pop does have the official seal right there it's got the little hologram most sports pops have that by now because the league usually has to license the character i guess you could say it's got to be some kind of money money to be made um so this is the hulk hogan Python power. He always used to brag about his 24-inch pythons, which is his arms. If you're not familiar with bodybuilder or wrestling lingo, when he's referring to pythons, he's talking about his arms. And uh, yeah, this is him ripping off his shirt. He yeah, used to do that all the time for the fight. And he's got his handlebar stash on there, which is awesome. The blonde hair looks really good. They did it perfect with the bandana, which is awesome. The bandana isn't a separate piece, which is actually nice because they nailed the paint app on that, which is awesome. Um, I actually used to have the LJN uh, figure probably about two months ago and I ended up selling it. I got some really good money for it actually, but mine was mint uh, and it was the LJN uh, posable. He's kind of, you could semi pose him, but it was the uh, Hulkamania one. He wasn't ripping the shirt off. He had the actual shirt on, but it was uh, an actual soft good, which was kind of neat. And it had the belt. He had his championship belt, which is totally cool. But um, I ended up getting rid of that and it's neat that I ended up getting another one to replace it. So same figure, just different company. Uh, you know, obviously one is, you know, 50 or 40 years old, I should say, almost 40 years old, if you would, uh, from the mid 80s. Uh, almost before I even was into wrestling, I ended up, um, this figure was around and I ended up getting getting a hold of it. But now I got this one to add to the collection, which is nice. And yeah, Python Power Hulk Hogan, pretty dang cool. Why don't you let me know down in the comments below, what you think of this Hulk Hulkamania Python Power Hulk Hogan from Walmart that they dropped and the Andre the Giant that they dropped. Is this something that you ended up picking up? Do you collect any wrestling figures or do you just collect older wrestling figures? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more content like this, subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So look out for that and have a great rest of your day.